Hey, how you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this Earthy Tones Lightroom preset. So I'm going to reset this and walk you through the process. Okay, so the first up, what we want to do is we want to come up to the temperature and we want to be increasing that to around 15. And we also want to add a little bit of tint into there as well to around five. Then we want to pump in some contrast, push that up to about plus 10. And then we're going to bring the highlights right down to around there, which is for this particular image, it's about minus 80 around that mark. And then we're going to just lift the shadows up ever so slightly to around plus 30. That's just going to bring back some of that detail for us. We're then going to drop the whites and the blacks to minus 40. This is just going to bring everything down so it's flat for us to then add a bit of a curve to it in a minute. So let's come to the dehaze and let's just add plus 10 into there as well. That's just going to punch everything back up a little bit for us. There we go. So on the tone curve, you want to select the second option here and we're going to make two marks or two points just to start with. And we're going to bring that point down to around there and then we're going to crush the blacks a little bit so just push this up to here so we're, when we're pushing this end up we're just pushing and crushing them blacks you can do the same with the whites just a little bit you don't need a lot and that looks pretty good for our tone curve you can see what that's done there it's just given us a little bit more contrast into our image okay so moving on let's come to our hsl panel let's go to the uh, hue section to start with we want to come up to the orange and just bump that up to about plus five and then the yellows we're going to bring down to minus 100 and the greens we're going to bring up to plus 100 moving to the saturation we're just going to bring everything from the yellows to the magenta down to minus 70 so let's just pull that down to minus 70 and then what we can do is just double click there, press Control Command C, just to copy that. And then if we double click on the next one and press Control Command B, that will just paste that number in for us. And it just speeds up that process. There we go, that's a nice, simple and easy way of doing it. Let's come to the luminance and we're gonna to come to the orange. We're just gonna bump that up to around plus 10. And then the yellows, we're gonna bring that down to minus 10. And the greens, we're going to bring that down to minus 20 there. Okay, so let's move on to the color grading. Let's start with the shadows. We're going to add a hue of 30. And then we're going to add a saturation of 10. And then we're going to jump over to the highlights. And we're going to add a hue of 30 and a saturation of 5. That looks good. So we can see there what we've done with that color. Just got rid of that green and we've just warmed it up a little bit. Okay, let's carry on going and scroll down until we get to the post crop vignette. I'm just going to pull this down to minus 20. That's just going to give us a little bit of a darker edge there just to draw the iron into the middle. So then we come to the calibration. This is where we have a little bit of fun with the primary colors. So the first one is the red. We're going to come to the hue. I'm going to push that up to plus 20. And then the saturation, I'm going to bring that down to minus 40. Then we're going to come to the green. We're going to come to the hue. We're going to push that all the way to plus 100. And then the saturation within the blue, we're going to come to minus 80. So let's just bring that right down to 80. There we go. And that is it. That's how you do it. So if we look at the before and after, you can see what that does. It creates this earthy tone. It does get rid of that green and it can work really, really well, especially if you've got moody shots. But also do play around with the primary section here because you can get some real interesting results. You may want this to be slightly different. You may want to warm things up, cool things down. That's the place to do it. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I look forward to seeing your images. Take care and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.